Good morning, everyone, and happy Mother's Day. We can do better than that. Good morning, everyone, and happy Mother's Day. All right, as we gather today, you know, we're shaking things up a little bit this morning. We sometimes get stuck in a routine. We have the Stay Connected. We have our opening song. So today, uh, just a couple words of intro, and then our band's going to come out and lead us in our opening songs. After that second song, you're welcome to be seated for our Stay Connected that'll take place at that point. But you know, it's been a great weekend here at La Casa. We're receiving new members at all of our services this weekend. We had three baptisms last night. And yesterday, this place was full for our women's event. And many of the women who were here were not members of the church. And so we're grateful for that, that today's a day we celebrate not just moms, but all women. And that's the focal point of our message today. The other thing I want you to be reminded of is that Bibles are now in your seats. We hope those are out when the scriptures are read this morning and that you're opening them. A closed Bible doesn't do us any good. So open them up and uh, follow along as the reader shares in the scripture today. So I'm going to invite the band to come on out, lead us in worship today. And uh, we are grateful for all women who are here. We're grateful for all of you who are here and grateful for the opportunity to gather together in praise. So as our band comes up, let's stand as we're able. We're going to share in our opening song. And this is going to be a special blessing to us today as we celebrate and worship on this Mother's Day. We are the people of God, the sons and the daughters of love, forgiven, restored, and Bless the broken, the poor. They will be hopeless and broken no more. You are the light, the light of the world, and we shine you, Lord. You are the light, the light of the world, and we shine you, Lord. We are the people. Of God, the sons and the daughters of love, forgiven, restored, and redeemed. We're living our lives in the praise of the King. We are the ones who will shine His light in the darkness of night. The hopeless, the broken, the poor. They and broken no more. You are the light, the light of the world, and we shine you, Lord. You are the light, the light of the world, and we shine you, Lord. Oh, you are the light, the light of the world, and we shine you, Lord.
Do you believe that he's the light of the world? Do you shine him? Do you let the reflection of Jesus Christ that's alive in you today, living and breathing in you, shine to other people around you? How many, how many of you possess the gift of kindness? Like you're not a jerk like I sometimes am. You can actually walk up and say hi to somebody. How are you doing today? Anybody besides me? Because I shouldn't be raising my hand. I'm not good at that. How many care about people? How many care about the world around us? You know, Pastor Jeff talks a lot about our, our mission statement. I'm going to butcher this, by the way, because my brain's not working so well. But something about loving, helping, help me out, loving people. Loving those who don't know Jesus and growing those who do. Thank you. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> That's what, that's what we're about. That's what we're called to do. I apologize, Pastor Jeff. I'm on staff. I should know that. That's what we're called to do. We're called to love these people and grow those. I just butchered it again. That's what we're called no, to do. No, no, it's good. It's all good. That's what good. we're called to do. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're singing about this morning. It's we're shining the light of Jesus to those around us. This morning, as we continue to do that through our worship, through our praise, I just want to invite you also to allow that light to refresh you and come into you this morning. Draw from the presence of God. He's in this place. He will fill you up so that you have so much to give the world around us. Amen.
Let's lift it up. Come on. One more time. Oh my life. seated. We welcome you to La Casa de Cristo Lutheran Church, where our mission is to love those who don't know Jesus Christ and grow those who do. Thanks for staying connected. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Happy Mother's Day. Thanks for staying connected, La Casa family. I'm Connor Trity with our director of music, Miss Jennifer Sheldon. And as we celebrate all the mothers and grandmothers out there today, I want to get you all excited for next week as well, because it is Pentecost. I already am wearing red, Jennifer. That's well, good for you, Connor. And that's the color of the day. You'll notice the altar flowers are also red. And it is the celebration of spirit and fire, and it's going to be a wonderful celebration. Pentecost is the longest season of the year, the pen season of Pentecost, and it goes, oh, for a very long time. So wear your red, get ready. Get ready, wear red, and we'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Chris. Oh, Tony, so glad you're here. Uh, I've been trying all day to get these 50 year things lit uh, and I can't figure it out. There's no keyboard, so I'm lost. Did you look at the back and did you try the button? There's a button? Yes, there's a button here. Hmm. Check it out and okay. you turn the button Oh, on. 50 years, awesome. 50 years is a big deal. It is a big deal. We do everything big here for our 50 year anniversary, including going to Mexico. That's right. When are we going? July 23rd through 30th, we are going on our mission trip to Mexico. Now, I, you know, I always have a hard time saying a lot of things around here, including the name of the place we go. Oh, that's easy. Atlacomuco, Mexico. You know, Tony, Sally and Tacho from Mazawa Valley Ministries, they run a great program there. Tell us what they do. They do a number of things for the Mazawa Valley. They all the ministries down there. There are about 30 ministries. They support every ministry, and that's what we do when we go down to help support all the ministries at MVM. That's amazing. So July 23rd through the 30th, pack your bags and your kids and join us at Mazawa Valley Ministries. We will see you there. Hey, La Casa family. I am getting so excited for VBX above the treetops. But here's the thing, we need your help. You see, right now, 70% of our volunteers are our youth and we need your help for this week. You know, I love VBX and I really do not want have to cut to cut off our registration. So please sign up to help. There's so many opportunities. You can find all of the information on lacasabecristo.com slash VBX. I can't wait to see you there. All right. We are excited at this time to share in our children's message. So I'm gonna invite our kids to come on up front here and share in that time together. So come on down, grab a piece of floor in front of me here. Come on, we got more than that. We got plenty out there. Come on down, all right, come on down. And while you're grabbing a seat, I'm gonna give you guys a bunch of stuff I need you to hand out to everyone. Can you make sure that everyone gets at least one of those? Okay, and I'm gonna give you some more here. So here you go. You pass those out too, Brenna. All right. And here you go. Some big kids Did too. Yeah, at least one. Take a couple. There's plenty. All right. All right. So we have a saying. Here you guys go. Here's some for you. Okay. We have a saying. All right. And that saying is that actions speak louder than words. Okay. So what that means is it's not just what we say, but it's what we do that's important. 
So, you know, most Sundays you come up here and Pastor Matt or Pastor Joel or I are doing the kid talk and we're sharing words with you. But today you're going to do the children's message. You have some stickers for your moms and your grandmas today or anyone who's helped you out in your life. And what we're going to do is after our prayer, you're going to go out into the congregation and share those and uh, share in that time together and just give them to them. And so you're going to show them your love by not just words, but by action. So that's what we're doing today. You guys are the children's message today. That's really awesome. Let's pray together. God, we give you thanks for our moms and grandmas today and help us all to remember we're kids of all ages, but for all of us, no matter what our age, our actions speak louder than words. It's what we do, not just what we say, that is most important. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, I am going to invite them to uh, go back and greet their moms in that way. And as they do that, you guys move out of your chairs, greet a new face today, share God's peace with one another. Let's greet a new face this morning. We're going to invite you to, uh, at this time, worship in whatever posture you desire, standing, sitting, whatever, and we're going to move into our next song, which is Oceans. So we are La Casa family, far and wide, and we have some families up here that I just wanted to, to let you know about. We have Emily on guitar. She's leaving us for the summer, but we're very blessed, Emily Furnished, to be up there playing guitar with us. And we have a brother and sister here up on, on the stage with us here. This is Jordan. She's visiting from Stamford, Connecticut. Her, her mama lives here, so she's here to celebrate Mom's Day with her and her brother, Josh. We're so blessed. And we have Dan on, on bass. And of course, we all know Gary and Dave. And who can forget Bill? <laughs> so we're all a family of God, whether we're here or far away. But we're all blessed. And lift up your voices and
can be seated this morning as we turn to the scripture and invite Sue up to read for us. If you'd like to follow along in the Bible, turn to page 824. I'll give you a minute to find that. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, beginning with verse 1. Paul, Silas, and Timothy. To the church of the Thessalonians in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, Grace and peace to you. We always thank God for all of you, mentioning you in our prayers. We continually remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we know, brothers loved by God, that he has chosen you because our gospel came to you not simply with words, but also with power, with the Holy Spirit, and with deep conviction. You know how we lived among you for your sake. You became imitators of us and of the Lord. In spite of severe suffering, you welcomed the message with the joy given by the Holy Spirit, and so you became a model to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. The Lord's message rang out from you not only in Macedonia and Achaia. Your faith in God has become known everywhere. Therefore, we do not need to say anything about it, for they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Sue. We come on this Mother's Day, but we also recognize that much like the Christmas holiday where sometimes we want to put on a brave face, we all have different situations in our lives that may make this a difficult day for some. For some, this is a day of grieving and mourning because our moms are in heaven. For some women, this is a day of pain because they've lost a child due to a miscarriage or they've had to bury a son or a daughter, not the natural order of things. For some, there are broken relationships in family and that makes it difficult. And some women who want to be mothers cannot be due to choice or circumstance. So as we come today, as always, we preach from the Word. And you may have noticed the past few weeks, the Bibles are in the seats. They're meant to be opened, and you're going to hear that in the message today. They're not meant to sit in a bookshelf in the back of our worship center. And as we dig into that, I hope that you'll keep it open to 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 and see how this unconditional love and grace of God is so important. Now, I've preached a lot of sermons on Mother's Day, over 30 of them. But I think it's important we hear the voices of women on this day. So today's message is a dialogue sermon between myself and our director of women's ministry, Paula Webb. We are grateful for her, for her leadership here, as was evidenced yesterday with a wonderful event. And also, we are grateful for the message that is brought today, all based on the Bible. So let's watch the screens for today's message. Happy Mother's Day weekend, La Casa family. 
Very excited to share in a dialogue message today with Paula Webb, our Director of Women's Ministry. Paula, we're so excited to have you here. And based on our text today from 1 Thessalonians, we are so grateful to be talking about the grace and love of God. So Paula, I, I want to begin by just asking you, what is something you want all women at La Casa de Cristo and beyond La Casa de Cristo to know? What's on your heart today? There's a lot on my heart, Pastor Jeff. I am so thrilled to be here serving all of you to serve this church and to serve the Valley. That is the essence of women's ministry. But today on Mother's Day, I want all women that are seated right in this space to hear and to know that you are God's idea. You have been created, women, out of the overflow and the expression of God. God is love. And so when he has chosen you and created you so perfectly, brilliantly different than men, right, Pastor Jeff? Well, we see it scripturally that in Genesis chapter 2, we see that even though God created man from the dust of the ground, he put Adam into a deep sleep. And when he created woman from man, we see godly order but don't confuse orderly with superiority. We are so different. And the design of woman is so exciting to celebrate and highlight on Mother's Day. But with that said, I want to make sure, Pastor Jeff and La Casa de Cristo, that we understand that Mother's Day actually evokes much pain and angst and hurt in many hearts, as we grieve the loss of mothers, as we grieve circumstances, perhaps, disappointment as mothers or those women, those of us who have not been able to birth physical children. But stay with me, because this message for Mother's Day is the message about the conception of you and the life God has chosen for you, all women, that is most important to be featured in this day. And just like conception is hidden in the human womb, no one knows when physical life begins. The same is true with faith. And the faith in a woman's heart is God's idea. It is God's plan, and it is carried along by the Holy Spirit. So when we talk today on Mother's Day, Pastor Jeff, about God's love and about men and women being an expression and created in the image of God by the expression and the overflow of God's love, the gift of faith also is God's gift that he gives to us, and no one knows when it is birthed in a human heart. So I want to celebrate the conception of faith today. The woman was designed to bring physical life to this earth. Every single woman has significance in the kingdom of God because we are designed to carry life that is born, eternal life, in faith. That is an opportunity for all women. That's great, Paula. And, you know, based on the scripture today where Paul is writing to the church in Thessalonica, he's talking about unconditional love, he's talking about grace, and he's talking about the power of the Holy Spirit. And this is so important in our text for today. Uh, you may recall in my Easter message, I mentioned that the first female followers of Jesus were last at the cross and first at the tomb. And this is so important for us to uphold women. So, in your own personal story, in your own life, um, how has that been made manifest, God's grace? And then how might we apply that to the women that are associated with La Casa de Cristo? Thank you for that segue into truly a personal example that I can bring forward today. I was raised in a very loving home. I have a very loving mother, but I was not raised in the faith. Pastor Jeff, I didn't know about a personal relationship with Jesus. And so when I came to discover the truth of God's word and my life intersected, the circumstances, the brokenness of my life intersected with God's love, there was a group of women within God's church that swept me up, that brought me in, that helped me to open the Bible. 
that taught me who God says he is. And so here at La Casa de Cristo, what I am so excited to continue on this foundation is to grab hold of every woman and help you if perhaps you're new to faith, maybe you're exploring faith, or maybe you've walked with Jesus for a long, long time. Great, we need you in women's ministry. We need you to come alongside and be the influence, as we see in this scripture, of a true influencer. Let's not be confused because our culture sets up a faith that is contrary to what God says of himself and what a true spirit-filled life looks like. A spirit-filled life, as Paul encourages and prays into, is one that works by faith. It's one, as we see in the text in 1 Thessalonians, that is prompted by love. And ultimately, as Pastor Jeff and I conversed, Paul chose words in his prayer for this church that he acknowledged that there is a faith that endures by hope in the Holy Spirit. And that word of hope, that's the word that we want to speak here at La Casa, but the mothers in this church, not only as women, create a mother role. And I am going to invite you, if you have not physically birthed a child, to consider an eternal role of motherhood, and that is spiritual mothering. And I tell you, one of the most important influencers in my life did not have children of her own. She came alongside me and spoke life into my life. She helped me understand, and that's what this community at La Casa de Cristo, the La Casa women, is going to be founded on. And so, Pastor Jeff, I'm so excited as we bring forth Bible study and we bring forth outreach opportunity. Everything that I am promoting, we as women here are going to go after this valley. We are looking for all women, all ages, all faiths. So in the fall, the mom's ministry that we have um, created on this campus is going to extend to not only moms of school-age kids and preschool kids, but I have found a community of women that is desperately looking to stay engaged as moms who are 50 and older. They are moms of adult children. They are grandmoms. They are great grandmoms. So you're going to find more information on our website to join us in the fall in a mom's ministry. But more important than the group of moms is the group of women that we will establish as followers of Jesus with our Bibles open, because this is where we learn the promises of God, and we can actually live from the knowledge and the intimate knowingness that we are children of God, chosen by Him, and loved to be the expression of love to our world, Pastor Jeff. That's awesome. You know, one of the things we talked about, Paula, is um, we have women who are on the road of faith. Maybe they've been lifelong Christians, but there's also many women who uh, have not in their journey yet discovered Jesus Christ. Maybe they're still on that path of discovery. So what's your message to them? If they're still on that road of discovery, maybe they don't yet know Jesus. Maybe they're in a different place. Maybe they're struggling in some aspect. Uh, what's, what's the message for them? That is such a great question, Pastor Jeff, because in our hearts, we know the struggle and the tension of being human and a God that has designed us to seek and to find him, whether we acknowledge that yet in our lives or not. There's a stirring. And if there's a stirring in you today, I want you to know that the women of La Casa here are creating a safe space where you can bring all of your questions. You can bring life circumstances. You can come without fear of judgment. You can check out a Bible study that I'm hosting that will be begin June, the first week in June on June 4th. Register, jump online. Whether you have been in a Bible study before or ever opened a Bible, let me help you 
because I was you. At 31, it was the first time that I'd ever opened the Word of God for myself. And I believe every single woman will know and experience God's love if she is mothered by spiritual mothers, by a believing congregation, by a church body that comes alongside you and anyone else with questions and expresses the love that God empowers in us through the power of the Holy Spirit. Because as Paul spoke about, this power of the gospel, this conviction, this good news actually results in a joy from the Holy Spirit. It's not a joy that we can choose. It's a joy that takes root and, and, and grows up in us and in the light of a suffering world. That is what will set us apart and draw others that don't know Jesus yet to a place where I want some of that. I want that. Come. And that fits right into our mission statement to love those who don't know Jesus Christ and grow those who do. And, and that's right on target. So uh, our last question for this message, Paula, you know, uh, we've talked a lot about, obviously, the focus on this weekend for Mother's Day is on women and not just women who are mothers, but all women and all circumstances. But what can we as men, as boys, as young men, what can we do to support the women in our lives, and also the women of La Casa de Cristo? Thank you for that question. And this is kind of the cherry on top. Because ultimately, when we consider the role of mother, that is what a woman may or may not be able to do in her life on this planet. But who we are, women and men, girls and boys, we're God's kids. We are God's family. And Every single woman I know needs big brothers and little brothers. Every single man I know needs big sisters and little sisters. And it's us together, Pastor Jeff, it's us together that create the most full expression of the overflow of God's love. And so every man that I get a chance to encourage and to respectfully build up within the body of believers and beyond is an opportunity to praise and worship God for the very design of man. So as we draw together in a culture that is trying to separate the sexes, trying to separate men and women, the church has an opportunity to stand alone, to differentiate ourselves with the most intense countercultural love as women love men and men love women because God has first chosen to love us. But Pastor Jeff, this isn't going to happen if our Bibles remain closed. What happens when we open God's word is we begin to hear God's word. We read the promises of God for ourselves. No one can do it for us. And when a man is fueled by God's word, his family, his peers, his workplace gets the very best of him. And the same is true of woman. So as we here at La Casa de Cristo open up our Bibles and continue to explore God's word for ourselves, that sacred mustard seed of faith that birthed faith in our hearts begins to spread. And that mustard seed will spread to all the corners of this earth without end. But what I want to make sure that you and I and we as a church knows is that the differences between men and women today on Mother's Day are to be celebrated and that we together can honor the gift of life. It's God's plan. He's the one that decided to put Adam in to sleep when he brought women forward. So men, if you still are kind of mystified about women, you are in good company. So 
each of us gets to respect and love the differences in the sexes, celebrate that a part of the church, and be a reflection of God's love. And I wanted to make sure, Pastor Jeff, that every woman, we're going to say junior high women and up, uh, make sure that she receives this necklace, this necklace uh, with a little heart on it. Now, I wanted to give by example, um, I put a little heart on my bracelet. I've got a little heart down here. I want us to wear these hearts, ladies. Grab one for your mom, um, husbands, men, if your wife doesn't happen to be here or a sister, grab one for her because this expression, this outward expression, is reminded in Proverbs 3, 3, where God wants us to express to the world and tether and bind around our necks an object, a symbol of love and faithfulness. And that, ladies, is God's promise to us and fills our Mother's Day today with the hope of Jesus Christ. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And as God's people, we are so blessed to share this with you today. Paula, thank you so much for sharing your I'm ministry. I'm thrilled to be here. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Can we give Paula a hand? <clears throat> that was a, a blessing for us to do together. And it reinforced this text that Paul wrote to the church at Thessalonica that our lives are to be about unconditional love. You know, there's a lot going on in the world today. There's division, there's anger, there's political challenges, but we are called to be different. We are called to love people unconditionally, and that is what sets us apart. Women, men, it doesn't matter. That's what sets us apart, and that's what we're to be about. We don't marry ourselves to the culture. Jesus and Paul never looked to Rome for solutions. And there's an old saying, if you marry the spirit of the age, you'll become a widow or widower in the next. It's not about what's going on right now. It's about what was already done for us 2,000 years ago on a cross on Calvary. So as we go forth, uh, ladies, uh, as you leave today, We'll have those hearts available for you now. Um, as a pastor, I, I like to share good news, okay? So here's the great news. Our services were packed this weekend. The challenging news is we may be a little bit short on the hearts. And if you don't get one on the way out today, we have volunteers out there who are going to take your name down. We're going to mail one out to you in the next week, and you're going to get that. Um, so, but it's great, right, that we have more people here than we expect? That's awesome. So, good. So, uh, so make sure on the way out, ladies, you get those. You'll have to go out the front doors to do that. If you duck out the side doors, you won't get it. But if you don't get one, we'll have volunteers out there to make sure uh, that you share in that. And then lastly, uh, before we move into our time of offering, and I'm going to invite the band to come forward here, um, I, I just want to uh, share something, and that is, is that uh, in your bulletin, along with your new member bios, and we'll be receiving our new members at this service uh, at the prayer time today, uh, you also have a building fund pledge card. You know, 70% of our giving here is given electronically now. You can scan the QR code. You can do it online. Our building fund goes to maintain our beautiful campus and pay our mortgage. You can take that with you. You can put it in the box in the back. Go home, pray about it, whatever you want to do. But uh, also, as we share our offerings and tithes, we thank those of you who do that electronically as well. So after our offerings received this morning, you're welcome to stand or sit as you desire for our offering song. Come on up, Ann, you don't need to be bashful. So, and, uh, and let's move forward into our offering.
Musicians do a great job for us. Let's give them a hand. So before we share in our closing song, I, I need to, to have an honest confession with you. So I, I, I did a little chastising of the 8 a.m. service this morning because we've received new members this weekend, but they've all been received at last evening service and at 9.15 none at eight o'clock and two are being received today with us. One of them is our staff member. So 1030, you have a little work to do on evangelism, okay? Um, we wanna make sure you're reaching out and inviting. You know, the statistics show us this, people don't come to a church for the sermons, the music or the programs, they come because they're invited. So continue to invite and when we have our next new members in the fall, I want to see a lot more new members joining at this 1030 service. All right. At this time, Paula and Gary, would you come forward? Uh, we're going to welcome these folks into us. Now, I, I have to admit, you know, um, they've been with us for nine months. Paula's on staff as our women's ministry director. So this is a, a little bit weird having them join as new members today, um, uh, you know, because they've been with us for nine months. But it's awesome. And we're grateful that they went through the new membership class. You guys aced all the questions. Everything was perfect, oh, right? So it was all good. Um, so it's awesome. Let's give them a hand. Um, but, uh, but it's great, and we're blessed to have them here. Now, I will tell you this, you guys. Uh, we once had some people that had worshipped with us for 31 years until they joined the church. So you came nowhere near that. So that's awesome. So it's good. But uh, is it your intention at this time to join with us at La Casa de Cristo to work side by side with all these folks and all the folks from our other service working uh, shoulder by shoulder for the gospel of Jesus Christ in the world? If so, answer yes by the help of God. Yes, it yes. is. Yeah. Yes, by the help of God. All right. Well, <laughs> see, they don't follow instructions, but that's all good, you know. It's all good. You know, as the lead pastor, that happens a lot. It's all good. So, um, and will you, as the family of faith, will you support these individuals and take your new member biographies home that were passed out at the beginning of the service, look at the pictures, greet not only these two, but all those new members and welcome them in the family of faith as we work together side by side? If so, would you answer yes by the help of God? Let's join together in our closing prayer. God, we are grateful. It's been such a great weekend here, a great event yesterday, uh, baptisms last night, new members joining, Mother's Day, so much going on here. But help us to always remember it's not about us and help us to remember to keep the focus on you. Help us to remember that you are the great King and Lord of the church and help us to fulfill our mission statement, to love those who don't know Jesus Christ and grow those who do as we take that unconditional love that we read about today to the church at Thessalonica and continue to spread that to the world. Lord, we do this, not because it's about statistics, not because it's about this church growing, but because it's about bringing people into your kingdom so that people that don't know you will come to know you and experience the love and joy that we've received being part of this family of faith. This we ask in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Can we welcome Paula and Gary? Mm -hmm.
I'm going to ask them to take a seat, and uh, we're going to invite all of you to stand up, and let's share in our closing song.